Now, if you've gone to the 24H2 update or thinking about going to the 24H2 update, this video is actually for you. Quickly go into your settings and go to system, scroll down until you find recovery. Now you're gonna see this option to go back. So if you originally went on 23H2, you can now actually go to 24H2 without any kind of worry because you can refer back if you need to. The only problem with this button is it is only good for 10 days, but I'll show you guys how to actually extend that up to 60 days, giving you a better window to really test out if 24H2 is for you. So here we are in PowerShell as admin. What we're going to do is actually type in dism online, get OS uninstall window. Here you're going to see that we have 60 days because I have actually modified mine. Yours will probably say 10 unless you've done this yourself. So to extend that to whatever you want, all you have to do is type in dism slash online slash set OS uninstall window slash value and then type in how many days you want to extend it. I would definitely recommend at least 30 and all the way up to 60 days because you never know what kind of weird issues might crop up and I feel like 10 days for Windows is really not enough. So be sure to do this guys if you have just updated to 24H2 or even thinking about doing so. This will actually give you an out to go back in case you run into all these crazy issues that people are running into.